So kind of transitioning over to your organization's use of technology. So I did want to talk about um, when I went to a Cavs game this year, it was a different experience where one guy scanned a thing and printed out the tickets. It was different. Sometimes you scan it, but you guys took with Veritix a different approach. So talk about just about that company and other companies that are in technology and kind of pushing the envelope. Well, I think that the, so Flash Seats and Veritix has really uh, been, been something we feel blessed to have birthed. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you look at it from a Cavs end, and we weren't having a, a great success from a ticketing end, we wanted innovation uh, and, and, and a whole different experience. And here this was this Flash Seats technology that was out there. It was a mad scientist who had this concept for digital ticketing and uh, went through, actually talked with Dan and, and about it. And uh, Dan liked it so much, he ended up buying out the technology and formulating starting Flash Seats. Uh, so this was a thought bubble that became a company, the Cavs, we were the incubator for this. And uh, so flash, flash forward to this, this time at this, now, at this point, we now have, we, we've merged with Anschutz Entertainment Group and Cirque du Soleil, so you're all familiar with Cirque as well, to now have the second largest ticketing company uh, in the world, you know, behind Ticketmaster. And uh, merging with those entities and Flash Seats is the, if you want to say, the bedrock or the component, the common, common link with it. So last year with the Cavaliers game, if you had a chance to go, or any event at the queue, it's fully digital. You know, so that experience is fully digital. And with that, I can transfer my tickets. Uh, I can um, post them for resale, uh, whatever I w wish to do. Uh, and I, we have it on the Cavs app, you know, the Flash Sheets app, uh, or just via email, any way that you wish to do that. And the thing about that is this platform is on there is now we have digital from a food and beverage, digital parking, you know, a 360 platform that we can operate with uh, flash sheets. And it's exploding, so we're, we have uh, seven teams in the NBA now. We're the second, second largest purveyor to in Major League Soccer, in the NFL, um, you know, uh, NHL, NASCAR, uh, the official ticketing company of the NCAA, you know, so relative to uh, if you look at the Final Four, if you went to the Final Four, you used Flash Seats to get in. Uh, so it's a company now and it's become international with AEG, so we're across the globe with it. So it's really been a great experience. I'm, I'm on the board as well as uh, uh, Brian Hermelin, who's managing partner for Rockbridge Equity with Dan's World, and I get a chance to work with Brian a lot uh, with Dan's in, in that world and all, any, anything from a sports and entertainment end uh, as it relates to that. But So that, that one has been something that's been front and center for us because we've been so central to it and, and, and it's birthed from a concept idea to something that's that large. Uh, they're not all like that, but uh, I think, you know, the one thing you referenced about with the overall game experience, so, uh, and just even our overall experience, we have, uh, uh, we've been the first team in sports to have what I call a data warehouse, of a, and we have a terrific VP of digital, his name is Mike Conley. And so Mike being the mad scientist he is, it's been like, so you have all these sources of data, right? So we have data coming from, if you go to a, a, a food and beverage stand, you know, you have Micros, and we can record your food and beverage. You know, we have your food and beverage experience, or retail, you know, same thing relative to point of sale there, or flash seats, if you look at it there, or from digital. So uh, whether it be from, you know, engaging with our website, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. So we have what is a, uh, a standardized login, so you don't have to, you know, some, in most cases you have to log in to different, each one of those separately. As it relates to the cabs, you only have to log in, they have a universal login with which each of those, so that all comes to that central point. Um, we have our CRM, Customer Relations Management System, you know, flash sheets with that delivered, so all of that. So we now have that all coming in to one data warehouse, which enables us then to have a true 360 uh, profile of our fans and whoever is engaging with us and give them the best possible. So as we speak to our fans, we can speak in their language rather than just go out with uh, you know, carpet bombing tactics uh, as far as that goes. And even with that, you know, so for example, we're, we're the uh, leading purveyor, uh, user of gimbal technology uh, in terms of being at the forefront, which you know, so from if you're walking into the queue uh, with the beacon technology that's uh, appropriate there, you can come in and you'll get off of the, the, your app, your Cavs app, which is an incredibly dynamic platform for us, and come with you with actual offers that would be specific to your wants. You know, so if you're, you know, maybe you enjoy wine or whatever, and we have a special offer as you come in at Cleveland Rocks, which is food and beverage 
uh, you know, stand and, and we can come up with offers that are targeted specifically to you to enhance your experience or give you information to enhance your experience um, as, opposed to, um, as opposed to otherwise. So we have uh, you know, data, data warehouse, we have our um, other, other ways we engage with our fans. So we have um, our uh, Wine and Gold Nation. You know, so with our Wine and Gold Nation, we're basically in a, a scenario here where if you look at, in a, we've learned from FC Barcelona as an example in Real Madrid, well they'll reach really tens of millions of fans that aren't gonna ever, maybe can't go to a game and can't engage with the game. Uh, but how, you know, we've worked now to create a platform that targets different from everything from cradle to, uh, to the, you know, more mature adults like myself, all the way through based on those subsets to, that fans can engage and be part of the Wine and Gold United Nation, which we have fans all over the globe. I mean, we have huge fan base in the Philippines. Now, a little bit tough to get here from the Philippines. Actually, one of the, uh, the NBA is telecast in 215 countries and territories uh, in 47 different languages. So we have tons of Cavaliers fans everywhere. How to create a, a scenario where they can engage with us. And then even with uh, our Wine and Gold United membership, which is a membership base, which includes season tickets as part of that. But how we can also uh, provide a phenomenal uh, customized experience where again, they can have a mobile digital experience, whether it be ticketing off the app, transferring tickets, one-on-one -on -one in terms of chats with their uh, their, their, cu their customer service representative. Uh, also, off of that app, you know, I can call in six different camera angles. So if I'm watching the game at the queue, in terms of viewing experience, I can sit there and, um, and, and basically have, and call up any of six different angles. Uh, if I want to see a certain play, and maybe our Humungatron, which is the largest in arena uh, scoreboard of any arena in the world, it's pretty big. Uh, it, big, big, but I can call, maybe that replay was one, but I want to see that replay, that again, I can call that up in any of six different angles throughout the queue and customize and personalize my experience as well. So I think the great thing with Dan is there's, uh, you know, it's, it's always about pressing about what's out there, what's innovative, what's new. We have our 3D imaging system on the floor, the Quince imaging system. We're one of three teams in sports that have that. So I'm sure if you've seen our games and you see all these images on the floor, that's a, that was a million dollar investment, 26 cameras. Um, for our team, we have our sports view technology, which for, our, 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 for David Griffin and Griffin, our team, we can measure things such as um, beyond just basic stats, but things like a hockey assist. And what's a hockey assist? So you have the assist, but what was the, what was the play that set up that assist? And how you can measure that, or how, how, many, uh, how many miles does a player run in a game? You know, what's their efficiency in terms of court coverage? And you know, so all those type of things and get rich data that uh, we otherwise wouldn't have, which is another, you know, another 20 plus cameras. So we have more cameras than uh, you can stake, shake a stick at in terms of in the queue, in terms of everything happening. But it's all been blessed to have a backdrop of technology. So whether it be outward facing companies or in, in inside our world, or as we evaluate new ones, and, and I guess, like I said, working within our team, um, with uh, some of the venture capital team we have with Dan's World, uh, it's, been, uh, it's been a great journey for us because we're always seeing what's up and coming and how does it apply to our world or how does it maybe apply for an investment? Mm -hmm. How many miles a game does LeBron run? <laughs> you mentioned that. You know, uh, I think with the players, it's something like, it, 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 gets, it gets down to a point of like seven miles or thereabouts, so, yeah. you know, it's, it's a lot of running. Sure, sure. It's a lot of, at a fast pace. 